quality of the times there. Our top four runners all, well, excuse me, our top three runners bested the GLVC mark, and the top four bested last year's championship uh, winning time. So an outstanding race by those ladies here at the 2020 GLVC championships in Indianapolis. Next up on the track will be the men's 5,000. Again, 25 laps of the 200-meter oval. We also have two sections. 12 will be in each section. In section one, hip number one will be A.J. Goker of Indianapolis. Thomas Wuchti of Illinois Springfield, number two. Trevor Dunkel of Illinois Springfield, three. Gavin Pryor, Southern Indiana, four. Caleb Pyle, Maryville, five. Matthew Scales of Southern Indiana, six. Emmons King of Spring, Illinois Springfield, seven. Carson Rohan of Truman State, eight. Cameron Cox of Southern Indiana, ninth. Nick Sigmund of the University of Indianapolis, 10th. Patrick Hennessy of Lewis, hip number 11. And Garrett Blanchard, the senior out of Missouri S&T, will have hip number 12. Again, they will utilize a waterfall start which will be an arc start based on the fact they're starting just off the beginning of the turn. As soon as an athlete has a half stride to stride clearance of a competitor, they can break in. Should anyone go down on the through the first turn, they will fire a re restart gun. Again, it can get pretty congested with a lot of <laughs> bumping and shoving early on just as people try to get into a position that they can run free freely without a, any interruption. Patrick Hennessy of Lewis, the freshman, has a 15-20-62 seed time, which is the fastest of the 12 in the field, but quite a few other gentlemen are there in the 15-20s, low 15-30s, so uh, you will see other gentlemen uh, in the thick of this as well, and that's actually Gavin Pryor, the junior out of University of Southern Indiana, he was at 15.21, so he and Hennessy had the two fastest seed times coming in to this first of two sections. He has gone to the lead and is trying to establish a rhythm that he feels comfortable with. And you can see the chase pack coming in behind. Seventy-two, the opening four hundred meters for Pryor. So honest pace. It's going to put him in at about if they continue to maintain at about four fifty. And as you can see, quite a collection of gentlemen still bunched together after three laps. That's A.J. Goker, the freshman out of the University of Indianapolis. In the all-black uniform, that's currently leading that chase pack. Last year's winning time was 15-14-47 by Blake Jones. I expect that you may even in this section get a time faster than that. Uh, Definitely, unless it gets very tactical in the second section, would expect that time to be uh, better this year. But the conference record is 14:25:65, set by the great middle distance distance runner out of Lewis, Andrew McLean. 
So we do have several seeds faster than that in today's competition. Uh, we'll see how they line up because, again, most of these gentlemen will come back tomorrow and run the 3,000, so it'll be interesting to see how the front end of the second section goes as well to see whether or not anyone goes after the GLVC record time. There's certainly a couple in the field that are capable of doing so. Pryor continues to lead. He's got about a 20-meter lead that's been fairly consistent. Goker of Indianapolis, and I believe that's his teammate, Nick Sigman. They're kind of running 2-3 now at the front end of the chase pack. This will be the end of the first kilometer. So five of 25 laps complete. And it's Pryor, followed by the UND duo of Sigmund and Goker. As they come past 1,200 meters, excuse me, no, they're actually a lap past 1,200 meters. So it's 1,400 in the books. That's prior. And as you can see, the chase pack has started to close the gap a little. They've closed about five meters over the last 400. This lap will mark 1,600 meters, which for most people they think of as being a mile, slightly short of that. That's Nick Sigmund now who's pulled a little bit away from the chase pack and is starting to close on prior on the front end. He's down to about 10 meters maybe, and Sigmund's got about 5 meters on the chase pack. Gavin Pryor, front end, Sigmund, Nick Sigmund of Indianapolis. Now moving into third is Emmons King, the sophomore from Illinois Springfield. Again, you still have about eight guys in that chase pack right behind Sigmund of Indianapolis. So still a lot of position switching that will likely take place as they go single file kind of drafting and just trying to be more comfortable as you would in race car driving. Since it's absolutely still inside, you're not getting the drafting effect as much, but you're just using that as a mental, a little bit of a mental relaxation. Gavin Pryor comes through 2000. And again, you can now see a single file chase pack of nine gentlemen, which are places two through eight and actually two through 10, but two through eight, which will be scores for their respective teams. Should those hold up? Keep in mind though, I need to correct that in that this is the first of two sections. So while being in the top eight in this section keeps you in scoring contention, that may be better than the next heat, which will have the faster seed times. But again, as we saw in the women's race, Katie McCune ran the first section and ended up with the fifth fastest overall time so she was able to garner four points for the jury Panthers <coughs> so these gentlemen here are trying to do the same thing with prior again of southern Indiana coming to the common start finish line it's continued to maintain about a 15 meter lead and that's Nick Sigmund of Indianapolis in second. Thomas Wukti of Illinois Springfield now has taken over third from his teammate.
Pryor. Everything's been staying about the same. Sigmund, Uti, King of Springfield going 2-3-4 right now. Cameron Cox and Matthew Scales of Southern Indiana are also in that chase pack, as is Garrett Blanchard of Missouri S&T. Patrick Hennessy, the freshman of Lewis, who came in with the fastest seed time in this section, also in that main chase pack. And you can actually see a few of those athletes that were a little further back, mid-pack to back pack of that chase pack are now getting a little anxious and are starting to come up on the shoulders of some of their competitors. So that chase pack now of nine gentlemen has really gotten congested as they're running side by side in one group of five and one group of four. And now that's Blanchard of S&T that's taken over second. Prior though has started to build the lead so the chase pack's gonna have to start to really work together if they want to Reel in Pryor, who's built up to probably about a 20 meter lead now. But with some of the changing of position, that may be what we're seeing. And we now have a new number two. That is Matthew Scales of Southern Indiana. Dunkel of University of Illinois Springfield now also up on the front end of that chase pack. Pryor again on the front end. He now has two teammates, Cameron Cox and Matthew Scales. So USI Screaming Eagles currently one, two, three in this section. We still have about eight guys though in contention for places two through 10, two through nine, two through 10 there in the chase pack that now is starting to close on Pryor. They've cut his gap, the gap of his lead now down to probably eh, a little more than 10 meters. So it looks like the two USI teammates are starting to work together to try to catch their teammate. <clears throat> and they're starting to move a little bit off of the chase pack that still has six men, excuse me, seven gentlemen in behind the two screaming eagles that are now sitting in 2-3 behind Pryor. And Gavin Pryor continues as he has all race. He's had no one to join him on the front end to share in the work, but he's got two teammates now that are starting to close the gap, Scales and Cox. Blanchard of S&T has been in there. So they come past the finish line. Pryor, his lead's now down to five. Coming hard on him is his teammate Cameron Cox, hip number nine. Matthew Scales hit number six, is now in third. Blanchard of s and in fourth. And the racing's starting to get very serious now as they're getting into the later stages. Down to about a half a mile to go. And it looks like Cameron Cox is gonna come up on the shoulder of his teammate here. We'll see how Pryor is able to respond. 
Screaming Eagles of Southern Indiana currently one, two, three, but they don't have that much of a margin. Pryor, Cox, Scales, Blanchard. That's Patrick Hennessy of Lewis. <clears throat> and Cameron Cox has now overtaken Pryor on the turn. Pryor's trying to pull right behind him. It's Cameron Cox, Gavin Pryor. Scales in third, that's Patrick Hennessy of Lewis now making a move out in fourth. Cameron Cox now is pulling away from Pryor. Scales in third. That's Hennessy in fourth from Lewis. A.J. Goker, Indianapolis has moved back to fifth. Cameron Cox trying to pull away. And he'll take the bell. His teammate now, Matthew Scales, has overtaken Pryor for second. Pryor in third. Hennessy of Lewis in fourth. Goker of Indianapolis in fifth. Scales is trying to close quickly from second on his teammate. Cameron Cox is able to hold off his teammate, Matthew Scales. That was Hennessy coming up from Lewis for third, Pryor from Southern Indiana in fourth, and A.J. Goker of Indianapolis in fifth. Our results board here is correct, 15, 25, 78, the winning time for Cox, Cameron Cox, the sophomore out of the University of Southern Indiana. Oh, excuse me, no, yes. He held off his teammate Scales, who's in second. They're not showing Cox on the board. That's why I had some hesitation there. What happens, they finish very closely together, and it may be that um, they need to re-look at the computer picture because uh, definitely Cox won that section. Scales is being listed number one but actually was second so 1528 is either Cox's time or if it scales his time then Cox was about a half a second faster. So that's what the second section will be looking at in terms of scoring is they know if they're in the top eight they got to run faster in 1528 if they want to score. <coughs> 